What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? Y'all can see me? Y'all can see me? Let's go. What, why is this effect on me? Get this thing off me. What the? What's good, everybody? How y'all doing? Listen. Listen. I got to play a track real quick to get the energy started for the day. I got to get a track playing for the day. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Listen, check me out. Listen. Listen, 2023 has been short of a whole adventure already. And I want to say that I told y'all exactly how the energy would be for this year coming in. Period. Period. I told y'all this year coming in was going to be a lot different than the years you was coming into before. I said, are you prepared for what it is that you're asking for? Are you prepared for this new energy, this new season? I told you, are you going to be prepared to become that new version of you for this next season? And when I tell you this next season, which is now this season has come in so quickly. And right now, some people can't even keep up. But let me help you out. Let me help you out. You have to gain control over your own emotions. You have to now start looking for answers, even within you. You have to now start focus on healing the traumas that you haven't surpassed already. Because that's going to be the only thing stopping you this year. Let me tell y'all something. And I'm a, uh, let me tell y'all something. You are the only thing that can hold you back. And I really want you to understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying this to be cliche. I'm not saying this because everybody says it or says it. I'm saying it because sometimes we trick ourselves and we hypnotize ourselves. We fall so deep for what we see. Oh, the bills look like this. Your account looks like this. The job looks like this. My love, you can't always trust what you see. You can't always be so hypnotized by your problems that it doesn't allow your mind to come up with solutions. What the? Whoa. Let me say that one more time. Let me say that one more time because maybe you ain't catch it. You can't be so hypnotized by your problems that it doesn't even give your brain a chance to come up with solutions. Let me make this real clear for you. Adversity is an opportunity. Write that down. Adversity is an opportunity. Adversity is an opportunity. Listen to what I'm telling you. Adversity is an opportunity. Adversity is an opportunity. So now you may say, Six, what do you, you mean by that? Every time you get challenged, every time you get tried, every time you get tested, it is because you are about to level up. So, uh, uh, uh. To, I gotta play that real quick. I gotta play that real quick. I gotta play that real quick. I ain't even know. I ain't even. I ain't even mean to say that. So you know, I gotta play it. Just play. It. Just, 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 just. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Just, just, just. Just level up. Just real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Oh. Took your hit and then I leveled up. You see. Y'all not really even paying attention to what the music is saying. You got to understand that even the music is just a soundtrack of different parts of your life. So when I said, so what? Took your hit and then I leveled up. You see, in basketball, in basketball, a talent that you can have is how well you are able to absorb contact. Listen to what I'm saying now. Basketball, a talent that you can have that LeBron James has, that Kyrie Irving has, and some of y'all may not know who that is, is, but to absorb contact, to be able to still make the basket, 
even when things are hitting you. Some of y'all get hit and you don't even try to take the shot. How many of y'all are allowing yourselves to get psyched out by these tests? Every time you get tested, you get down on yourself. Every time you get tested, your, your confidence completely depletes. Every time you get tested or you face some adversity, it's like you want to quit. You got to stop that. Because there's a reason why they say blessings come in disguises. And a lot of time, a blessing will disguise itself as adversity. So this is why you don't level up to your next grade until you pass the test. And a lot of times when you take in the test, that's when the teacher is quiet. Some of y'all have already been thinking, oh my God, why is 2023 happening like this? What's going on? What's going on? You have to pass the test. But the thing about it is that when you get tested, you mistake it for just bad luck or things happening to you. Instead of taking a moment and say, okay, what, what is happening? What is, let me look at what is this, okay? Stay calm. Stop allowing this matrix to eat off of your emotional energy. You see, if you was on my Twitch, right, you saw that one episode where I was showing y'all matrix and how the guy literally said, he says, you know, we get enough energy and we get enough. We get enough energy from your your emotions. So we just torture you to make you emotional. We make you desire things. We make you, you know. Like basically say all these different emotions and they take that energy from you. They suck it out of you. This is why I think about it. After you get so emotional, after you have a fit, you just get tired. You just be depleted. You just be like, oh, I just want to lay down. Like I'm just done for the day. So that's it. That's your whole day. You have to understand this. There is a reason why in manifestation, now listen to this, let's, let's, let's connect this. There is a reason why in manifestation, when you connect your emotions and your feelings to what it is that you're visualizing, it makes it more powerful. Well, if you're feeling something negative, then what does that mean? You're feeding something powerful energy that's not what you want. So when you consistently stay in a attitude. Yeah, some of y'all get attitudes when you don't get your way. When you stay in an attitude. Some of y'all get attitudes when things get hard. Well, some of y'all just like, I just don't want to do it anymore. Because cause a, cause, cause a little adversity came in. Because it wasn't as easy as you thought. When you allow those emotions to ramp up and get super, now you're super irritable. Now you're super upset. Now, you, now you're super annoyed. All that energy is only fueling more experiences like that. Because you have to think about your emotions, your thoughts. You have to think about it like an algorithm. Your body is also going on an algorithm. And that algorithm is called habits. And habits create your reality. So if you consistently think negative, it's going to become a personality. And if you consistently be negative, it's going to become your identity. And then therefore, your whole life will surround who you are. So you got to ask yourself, what do I actually want to build? Think about every emotion. Think about every thought. Think about every idea that you think about, every daydream that you think about as a building block to your next scene, to your next life, to your next season. Because think about when I talk about, when I talk, the words go out. The words go out. Where are the words going? They're creating. Because it's cause and effect. There's going to be a cause. I'm a cause right now. I'm getting on live and I'm saying stuff. I'm inspiring. And then there's going to be an effect. Y'all are going to end up doing something. You're going to, somebody's going to go make music. Somebody's going to go get on live. Somebody's going to go 
paint. Somebody's going to go be creative all because of this live. That was This live is the cause. You are the effect, right? You get what I'm saying? So it's just, I want y'all to be more mindful of the emotions that you allow yourself to feel, you know? And the thing about it is that you want to, you want to stay as neutral as possible. You want to stay as neutral as possible because let me tell you something. There is a law of rhythm. Y'all know that drawing when I go like up, down, up, down. There is a law of rhythm. And that law of rhythm states that things will go up and things will go down. There will be highs and there will be lows. But do not confuse your lows as always being a bad thing. Because sometimes you got to take a step back and realize that the lows that you're feeling now or higher lows than you felt last time. Yeah, you fell now, but you ain't fall as hard. Yeah, you fell, but you did not fall as hard. So you're having higher lows. That is growth. That's why I say you might as well stay balanced. Because some of y'all lows that y'all feeling right now used to be highs. Come on. Come on. What? What? So, if you've been slacking, if you've been slacking, rest today. Rest today and make a plan. I want you to be intentional for the year. I want you to think about this year like chess. Be strategic. Be strategic this year. Don't just, don't just move smart. Work smart, not hard. Work smart this year. Work smart this year. Work smart. Some of y'all, y'all trying. Let me teach y'all something. The harder you try, the less it works. Detach, okay? And take it easy. In basketball, in order to, to get a good shot, you have to let the game come to you and you have to take what they give you and be in flow. Some of y'all are forcing shots up, which is why you are missing more than you need to. Slow down. Relax. You see, the thing about it is that if you're in desperation, that's all I'm going to say. Get out of survival mode. Some of y'all are in survival mode. Ooh, write, write this down. Write, write, write this. Right, okay. Some of y'all are in survival mode. Meaning that. Instead of trying to perfect something, instead of trying to study something, instead of trying to master something, because you are in survival mode, you are accepting any type of food that they hand you. Get out of desperation. Get out of surviving and get into thriving. Stop just accepting what they give you because... Let me tell you something that my father taught me as a kid. Never settle. If there is something that you want, you go get it. But some of y'all, some of y'all are in such lack mindsets or you don't believe in yourself enough that you'll go into the shoe store looking for a specific shoe, but will accept what they give you because you just want to walk out the shoe store with something, the shoe store with something. Stop settling for what it is that you don't want and go all the way for what you do want. Go bigger. Stop settling. Stop going for the easy. Stop settling. Gamble on yourself. Gamble on yourself. If there's anything I'm going to gamble on, I'm going to gamble on me because I'm in control. And I, don't, and I want you to understand success is not a, a if situation. Success is a win situation. And a lot of time it's when do you want it? Are you going to do the work for it? Are you going to put the steps in? 
The outside world cannot cause you to be a failure. The only thing that can cause you to be a failure is you. So when I say when, when do you want it? Because you say if, if you want it in a year, you'll do the work to have it in a year. If you want it in 10 years, you'll do the work to have it in 10 years. If you don't know when, then you'll never know when you'll have it. So I want you to become very clear on what it is that you want. Start with just this year alone. What do you want or where do you want to be by the end of the year? Where do you want to be by the end of the year? Whether it be your followers, whether it be your bank account, whether it be your career, whether it be your craft, whether it be a level, where do you want to be? Whether it be moving, whatever it is, where do you want to be? And I want you to, I don't want you to write it down. I want you to focus on the feeling of having it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's so much smarter to use your feelings instead of writing stuff down. Because I just feel like, you know, I read the CIA document Gateway talking about manifestation. And the only thing that they said was that people laid down, they visualized it, and they, like, felt it. They visualized it and they felt it. And I was just like, you know, that's the best thing. That's the best route to go. That's the best route to go. If if your American government, if your um, if your American government has came out publicly in a document that manifestation is real, why do you keep having doubts? Why do you keep saying if? If you have the ability to make it so, if you have the ability to create it, why do you keep saying if? That's a good question, huh? And I want to tell you something, too. I want to tell you something, too. Because you don't believe in it, you create such long time frames. You know what I'm saying? Such long time frames. And what, and the re, and what I'm saying is that You'll tell yourself, oh, I'll be successful in 10 years. And it's like, man, what? Why you, why you, why you going so far out? If you, if you tell yourself you're going to be successful in 10 years, you're going to take 10 years. But if you tell yourself you're going to be successful in one year, you're going to find a way to make it happen in one year. And even if it doesn't happen in one year, it's going to happen sooner than 10 years. All because you push outside the box. You know? So, every day, I, I want to tell you what I've been doing that I feel has definitely been helping me with my mindset. Every day, I'm listening to an audio. Every day, I'm listening to... They call it personal development. Every day, I'm listening to something that will keep me in high hopes. Like, for example, I know what I'm doing by listening to this song... I get money. Look, 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 listen, listen to it. Let's do it. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, everything is intentional. The energy. Now when I get up, now when I get up, I feel happy. I feel excited. You have to remember, once you listen, ooh, I got something. Write this down. Write this down. Write this down. Right. All right. Check this out. Once you decide what you want. And you take the time to visualize it and feel the emotions. The next step is now staying in that frequency. So what that means is now that if today you did your manifestation, you did your visualization, you're like, yeah, I'm this and this and that, I'm this and this and that. Now for the rest of the day, you have to keep up that energy. You have to stay in character. Don't break character. Because the moment you break character, you go back to your old timeline. So I'm listening to stuff like this because it puts me in a happy mood. Now let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Neville Goddard said, I don't know if it was Neville Goddard or if it was another guy, but a video I was watching, the guy said, just be happy. He says, 
Here is a great manifestation tip. Just be happy. Now you may say, what? But think about it. When you are just happy, you are putting yourself at a frequency of happiness. And that frequency can attract almost anything. Happy birthday. It, it, it can attract almost anything. So when you're just happy, it's the same frequency if your manifestation was here. Because guess what? When your manifestation gets here, or when you see it, or, you know what I'm saying, when you become aware of it and that it's already in your face, guess what happened? You get happy. You know, let me tell you something. I want everybody to comment in the chat right now. Congratulations. Everybody comment in the chat right now. Congratulations. Everybody comment in the chat right now. Congratulations. This will be the year that you hear. Congratulations. Congratulations. No, look, look. Congratulations. 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 That makes sense. Congratulations. Now, I want you to imagine. And this is just another don't this is just another practice to get your manifestations jumping. And let me tell you something, your energy can change instantly. Your energy can change instantly. You just have to keep it up. But let me teach you something. Remember what I told you about them tests, right? This is where the faith of knowing your manifestation is going to come true. That is supposed to get you through the test. This is why when you stay calm through tests, when you stay, you know what I'm saying, positive through tests, you get congratulated because it shows you have faith. It shows you have faith that everything is going to work out for you. It shows that you believe in the concept that everything works out for you. But if you don't calm, stay calm, if you don't stay positive and you go into negativity, it shows that you don't actually believe. It shows that you don't believe in the concept that everything works out for you. Because if you believe that everything works out for you, then why are you stressing? Dang. So after you do all of these manifestation, you know, visualization, meditations, <laughs> I want you to now protect yourself. Because what's going to happen is, is that you're going to see things start to evolve. But a lot of times you get tested first before it happens. And this is why I say some of y'all manifest money. And then the first thing that happens is you lose money. You manifest money and then you lose money. And you're like, man, this thing don't work. That's what they try to get you. That's what they, the, man, that's what they try to get you. How you manifest the money and the next day you're accounting the negative now? You like, you got to be kidding me. You like, you got to be kidding. Me. You're not serious. You like, you got to be kidding me. That's a part of the test. That's a part of the test. That is a part of the test. She, everybody know. They said for real. Everybody know. You stay in focus, terror. That's what I'm talking about. The test was testing. Y'all is hilarious. No doubts. No doubts. And let me tell you something. If you are not in the mystery school and if you do not have my manifestation ebook, you're already missing out. I'm going to keep saying that. Manifesting a new car, then all of a sudden yours break down. And remember what I told you. I told y'all that if you're manifesting a new car and your car breaks down or something on your car breaks down, that's a sign. That's a sign. That's a sign. That means, think about it, think about it. The reason why I say it's a sign is because think about it. You just did something spiritual. You just implanted a seed. And all of a sudden, something correlated to your seed just happened. That's all I'm going to say. 
That's all I'm going to say. How do we know what's a part of the test? I, I can't tell you that. I mean, I feel like if you don't recognize a test in the moment of a test, you'll recognize it afterwards. And that'll make you aware of what a test feels like. That was a great answer. There you go. That was a great answer. Facebook has a timeline too. That's interesting. Facebook has timelines. Interesting. Yeah, man. So why do certain manifestations take a while to show up? That has to do with you. Either you don't believe it, either you're attached to it, either it's too big, either you don't believe in it, you're attached to it, or it takes time because it's big. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a lot of reasons why. Now, the universe speaking to me. I saw you on my For You page the first time after meditating in the sun. Hey, welcome. You made it to the other side. Welcome. If you are new here, please, guys, make sure to check out the crystal shop. I think another thing, too, that I would recommend is just, you know, if you go on the YouTube, start looking at some of the old lives and try to catch up on a lot of the things that I'm talking about. Because um, one thing about me, I'm going to talk about manifestation. The ability to create something and the ability to completely alter whatever you don't like in your life, I believe is a talent. To be able to look at something in your life and to bring in something, that is a talent. It's a talent of your imagination. It shows your creativity. Calm down, cat. Here, say hi to the people real quick. Say hi to the people real quick. Say hi. What are you what are you doing? What does she see? The fly. What fly? From the window. Is that what she's talking about? The fly right no, she played with some else. Everybody, everybody said, hey Lexi. I can't show y'all that, but she playing with stuff. Yeah, man. So someone has another account of you. They say, why you gripped her like that? Perception. Perception. Accusations, <laughs> Ac false accusations, false accusations. <laughs> accusations. <laughs> All right, y'all. Also, just want to let y'all know if y'all have been work waiting on your package, okay? If y'all have been waiting on your package, our shop was down for like, just a couple of days after the holidays. Just in case if you're waiting for your package, okay? So, it'll definitely be here within... The, it'll definitely be with you guys within the next week. And everything will go back to its regular timing. Alright? We got some of y'all that sent back some necklaces to get fixed. Those are getting fixed. So, just want to let y'all know everything is on timing. Just be patient with us. Okay? Oh, no, 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 I was wondering why I was saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, Lexi, what's your problem? Sheesh, girly. Why are you acting like that? Why are you acting like that? What? Why are you acting like that? Why are you looking at me? She know y'all looking at her. She looking at the comments. She looking at the comments. <laughs> yeah, man. So, like I said, January 22nd. January 22nd. We got that song coming out. January 22nd. January 22nd. January 22nd. Let's go. Fire! 
your year. Put a fire in the chat if this gonna be your year. Put a fire in the chat, let's go. Let's go, let's go. next in 2023 we come in for all they next in 2023 you know a lot of times you never know why you go through things You never know why you really go through things until you finally get to that moment and realize that everything you went through was supposed to happen and it was worth it. You go through challenges, you go, you go through L's, you go through, you know, hitting the floor a couple times, but everything was to build your character and teach you how to win. You cannot learn how to win until you learn how to lose. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You know, let me let me say something real quick though. You can have doubt all you want. You can have doubt all you want. But with the way that my life been setting up. Hold on, let me check the time. Let me, let me, let me check. Let me, with the way that my life has been setting up. I've seen this manifestation work. I've seen it work. I've seen it blow my mind. I've seen it shock me. I've seen it surprise me. I've seen things pop up instantly moments after I've thought about it. And it's not hard. The problem is, is that you got too many people around you influencing and pulling on your subconscious mind. Listen to what I just said there. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, listen to what I just said there. It's not hard. It's just, you have too many people around you pulling on your subconscious mind. You got too many things around you pulling on your subconscious mind. You have too many, too much information that doesn't even serve you well in your subconscious mind. This is what I've realized. People plant fear. And I'm just like, I look at them and I'm like, they'll be like, they'll be like, oh, so, you know, make sure you check your, make sure you check your rent, make sure you check your this, make sure you check it this, because, because I don't know, like, you know, everything's going up, prices is going, I don't, that, no, 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 for you. That's in your GTA server. In, in, in your GTA server, things are going a little rough. In my GTA server, we're doing just fine. I'm not going to accept that. Everything's fine with me. And you got to carry on that same energy. You sure you want to do that? You sure you want to You sure you want to pay for that? You sure you want to do that? You sure you want to go there? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. This is what I'm talking about where I say you can't even be yourself. Because everybody questioning your decisions. You, it's, and, and I don't mean this right now. I'm saying just as you grow up. 
it's hard to even be yourself because when you be yourself, everybody is making you second guess yourself. It takes the strong minded person to become disliked by choosing what they really want to do. Are you okay with being disliked because you want to be who you want to be? I'm okay with being disliked with being who I want to be. Because being who you want me to be didn't lead me anywhere I wanted to be. As a matter of fact, it put me in an effed up situation being who you want me to be. So you're going to have to choose. Do you like me for me or, or what? Y'all got to stop letting people sway you out of the direction that you want to go. You got to stop allowing people to alter your decisions. You got to stop giving people power over where you go. Maybe you need to stop telling everybody where you go. So that way you don't be affected by their opinions. You allow people opinions. To dictate how you move. And let me tell you something. You might as well say you lost the game of life by doing that. That's like one of, I think, I think that's almost like one of the first lessons that you learn. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't do what you say. You leaving me down in the gutter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Leave me down in the gutter. You just have to choose a different way of thinking. You have to stop entertaining all these negative thoughts. And you have to start to be selective in the thoughts that you do entertain. Because whatever thought you entertain, it's like a post that you're liking on your timeline, on your, on your Instagram, on your TikTok. Every post you like, you better believe there will be three more popping up just like it. And you have to think about that in the way you think about your thoughts. If you want to entertain a thought about if you're ugly, best believe that there will be three more thoughts following behind it in that same regard. And if you're going to have thoughts coming in and your algorithm, you want to make sure that your timeline is positive. Your timeline is teaching you something new. Your time, Like me, when I go on social media, I need my social media to be teaching me something. You know, that's why I say, if you're not on a mystery school, join a mystery school. Just throwing that in there. All my lives will be on my mystery school. But all right, y'all, I'm about to head out. I need to go get something to eat. I'm about to head out, y'all. I love y'all and later.